Hey everyone, Superhander64 here. Do you remember back in the day when you would use awful third-party controllers? That the ones where the analogs didn't, weren't responsive, the buttons didn't work that well, they would break after a month of use, you would give it to your friend to play as a second player? Well, it seems now that we are in the day and age of good quality third-party controllers. And PDP, Performance Design Products, is no exception. I actually have three of their controllers here. This one is the Xbox One. So I also have an Xbox 360 and a Wii U one. I'm going to go through each of these controllers, show you the features of them, and my recommendation for all of them. So be sure to sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, have yourselves a one-up day, and let's go check out these excellent third-party controllers. So before I show you each controller in action, I'm going to bring them closer to the camera. I'm going to show you the features of them. So this one right here is for the Xbox 360 and PC. So this one has a transparent shell like all of them as well. It also has red glowing lights. Also, it has rumble features, and the cool feature with this one, you can set the lights to flash when the, the controller rumbles. Then with this one is my favorite one, the Xbox One controller. It has a transparent shell, as usual, and also it has an out, the outside glows as well. So it can, you can change it to different colors, you can make it be one solid color, or you can turn it off altogether. Then on the back side here, you have two, two wheels, so you can set each direction, so up, down, and push it into a button. So this would be good if you're playing like a shooting game and you need to like jump, you can just um, map it to that button on the back. And then this one right here is for the Wii U. So this one is probably the controller that lacks the most features, doesn't have rumble, doesn't have motion controls, but it is wireless and it uses two AA batteries. Now for the lights, there's not really much you can do. They're either, they're either on or off. So I can try to find the button back there. Yeah. So they're either on or sorry, off or on. So really not many features with this, but it does it's a great cheap way for a third party controller. Okay, so I'm gonna show all of these in action. So let's see how they perform and what my overall thoughts of these controllers are. Now first I'm going to show you Rocket League running on the PC. I don't have an Xbox 360, so I can't show it to you on that. But as you can see, the lights light up every time the rumble is happening. So right now I just scored and the rumble is going crazy. So the lights are flashing really quickly. And also I'm using the Jurassic Park Jeep, uh, part of the DLC, I think this is a really fun game. So yeah, this controller feels very good. It feels just like an Xbox 360 controller. I have had, I have held one before, and the only thing is that it's wired. But if you can get past that, it's actually a very good controller. It's well made. The plastics feel very solid. It also has a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack in the bottom. So if you do have an Xbox 360 and still use Xbox Live, you can use your headsets with it no problem. Now the next one I'm going to show you is the Xbox One controller. Also works for PC, and I will be showing it to you on my PC as I don't have an Xbox One. So this is my favorite one right here. As you can see, it has the out, outer shell glows. But the cool thing is you can actually change the color with the right stick and then change the brightness with it as well. So you can turn it off completely or you can change the color and they can also change through colors each time as well. Oh, and then also with this, the triggers on these ones are bigger than the original Xbox's controller. And I actually prefer this controller to the Xbox One controller. It feels very comfortable. And I think this is probably the best option to play on the Xbox One or PC. So let's check out some gameplay with it. So right now I'm going to be showing you the Xbox One controller on my PC, as I don't have an Xbox One. So we're playing some Grand Theft Auto V. I'm just uh, running around here with Michael, shooting everything with a rocket gun. So yeah, again, as you can see, the controller is changing different colors on the outside. And also when you do the rumble, it flashes red as well. But it's not as predominant as the, X as the Xbox 360 controller just because there's not a lot of red lights in there. You can see them very, very finely. Also, this controller is probably one of the best con feeling controllers I've ever held. The triggers feel amazing. They're a great size. I have held an Xbox One controller and I do not like the triggers on them. However, this feels very, very good. The only thing I wish it was if it was wireless, but again, it comes with a 10 foot HDMI, uh, sorry, 10 foot micro USB cable, which is more than enough length for your PC gaming and Xbox gaming. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend this controller. It's probably the best controller I've held, as I said before, and it comes in at a pretty good price point. So now let's try out the Wii U controller. So here's the Wii U controller. It's a wireless controller. However, this one does not have any motion controls or rumble features. I'm playing uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild right now, and actually every Wednesday I will be streaming a Wii U game. I think I'm going to stream this one again because I'm actually really enjoying this. This controller feels pretty good in your hands. It feels just like a Wii U Pro controller. However, it does lack the motion controls and, and the rumble that standard with the Wii U Pro controller. 
I would recommend this controller as like a secondary controller, maybe not your main one just because of the lack of features in it, but it does feel pretty good. Like the sticks are responsive, the buttons are responsive, and you can also use this with the Switch as well if you have the Mayflash NS adapter, which I featured in a video before. I'll leave a link in the description for that video. So that was my little review slash overview of these three controllers. They're all excellent controllers, they're very well made. I would recommend each and every one of them. I'll leave links in the description below for you to buy them. They also are Amazon affiliate links, so if you do pick, decide to pick some up, it does support the channel. What I want to know, what are your opinions on third-party controllers? Do you use them regularly or do you try to stay away from them? Be sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Super Andrew 64 signing off and have a one-up day.